Hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new and you like makeup, beauty, hair or hauls then please consider subscribing. So I have been sent a selection of nail goodies from Madam Glam. I've worked with them a couple of times before in the past. This video isn't sponsored, it's just gifted. All opinions are honest and my own as always. But yeah, they have sent me two little boxes. I love this packaging, I think it's so nice. And then inside I've got a selection. So I have some gel polishes, which are these three here. So we have this one here called uh, Spring in Paris, which is a really lovely like muted pink nude colour. So yeah, I think this is absolutely beautiful. I want to get this on my nails as soon as possible. It's a lovely, lovely colour. And then there's also this really nice kind of a bright, almost like a magenta shade, which is called Pop, Pop the Champagne. So this one looks like this, absolutely beautiful. It's like a... A pinky purple I would say but it's a really lovely like bright shade really nice for toes as well and then I also have this absolutely gorgeous holographic one which looks like this it's like a, a pinky purpley toned holographic shade absolutely stunning and that one's called hollow lover and then I also have this little pot of uh, tulip pink pudding gel. Really curious about these because I've heard good things about them. I've heard them compared to, um, what was it? I don't know if they're still around now. It was a husband and wife. I can't remember the name, but everyone used to have these like gel nails that were bio sculpture. Um, and yeah, I've heard it compared to that. And it's like a really thick gel formula, like really thick. It's almost like, you know, you can you can touch it and it's it just like does that. It's, you know, not like a gel polish or anything. It's very thick and I think it's quite hard wearing as well. So, yeah, I got that colour, which is a really lovely like Barbie pink almost, which again, I thought would look really nice on fingers or toes. And then I've also got a couple of these poly gels. So let me take it out of the plastic. So these come in these tubes. There's 30 mil in each tube. And I've got two of the blush peony ones, which is like um, a, a kind of French pink shade. And yeah, I really want to try these. I wanted to try like a decent poly gel brand for a long time now. I've always got them really well with Madame Glam. So I'm really excited to try them. Um, they're quite affordable as well, you know, when you bear in mind how much you pay at a nail salon or whatever. These are really affordable for doing on your own nails at home. What I'm going to do, oh, I've also got, I've also got the jewel forms as well. So these are, they're kind of like, let me show you one. I've just grabbed a random size, but yeah, they look like this. So they have the, the measurements on them and everything. And you can use these actually to, you can either create a that one you can either create your own extension without a tip or anything or you can use tips and then use these over the top as well so yeah I'm going to use those with the poly gel I'm probably going to do that tonight actually so I'll get it up for you as soon as possible but I'm really excited to try those out as well because I've never tried them before and I've heard really good things about them so what I thought I'd do is do my nails with these or the poly gel and then I'm going to put that um, that pudding gel over the top as well. And then lastly, they sent me a nail file, which is really nice, a 180 grit file and a brush. This is really lovely, actually. It's really nice. So I'm not sure what size this is. Looks to me about an 8 or a 10. But it's like a gel brush. So, yeah, it's just a flat gel brush. Really, really nice. Uh, it feels nice and soft as well. And it feels really good quality. So, obviously, I can use that with the poly gel and the pudding gel as well. So, yeah, I've got that. And then I've also got, these are beautiful. They've just bought out some press-on nails. So, these ones are right up my street. They're kind of like... Um, gold leaf with a blue design on them as well really pretty and I'm also going to do a video on this so you're going to get three videos out of this lot today I'm going to do a gel pedicure and then I'm going to do one with the press on nails because a lot of you have asked how I I mean I've, I've pinged one off this morning but a lot of you have asked how I get my press on nails to last so long because I normally get about one and a half weeks out of them and it's all to do with the prep so what I'm going to do is do a separate video on that for you doing these nails 
And then I'm also going to do a poly gel one. I'll probably do the poly gel one first and then do the press ons after. So anyway, enough rambling. Uh, I just wanted to show you what was in the boxes, really. I am going to do a gel pedicure, as I said today. So I'm going to be using the Hollow Lover shade, which is that really gorgeous, like holographic, pinky purple colour. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to basically show you what I do and do a little voiceover as I go through it. So first, I'm going to take the Alexia cuticle oil and I'm just going to pop this on the base of my cuticles and then just use that to push back my cuticles. So I'm just getting rid of obviously any of the excess cuticle that's over my nail because obviously I don't want that underneath the polish to cause air to get in and then it will cause it to lift off. Then I'm going to take a, this is a, a non-acetone polish remover, but obviously you can use acetone as well. I'm just going to get rid of any of the excess cuticle oil that's still on my nail. Obviously, I don't want any of that left on there because that will also cause the gel to lift off. Then I'm going to take my nail file. So this is a 100 over 180 grit. I'm going to use the finer side and just file the free edge of my nail. When I file, I go from the outside and then to the middle of the nail. now taking my buffer so this is quite a fine buffer all I'm doing is using this to buff over the top surface of my nail I find doing this just helps the gel to stick a lot better because it's a rough surface but obviously you don't want to over buff the nail either because you don't want it to, to make it thin or anything like that so just a, a nice light buff all over the surface of the nail And then once I've done that, I just take a nail brush. This is just a, a normal, like rough nail brush that I just use to remove the dust. And then I'm gonna take my pH bond. This is actually a gelish product, but you can use whatever one you want. Uh, this just removes any protein, oils, anything like that on the nail surface. And it's, it's really good actually for before prepping any type of nail. So I'm going in with my base coat. This is the peel off base coat from Madame Glam. I'm just gonna apply this to obviously the base of the nail. I like to qu work quite slowly with it and kind of go and build it up rather than put it on quite thickly. I just find it works a, a lot, lot better if you go in kind of slow, thin layers. making sure that you get every little bit of the nail and obviously capping that free edge there as well. I normally use my nail just to kind of, you know, scoop away any that's gone onto my skin. I just find it works better that way, but use whatever you wish. So I'm just gonna cure that for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. So this is the beautiful Hollow Lover gel polish. So this is really, really nice. It's quite a thick formula. It's not too runny. So again, you don't want to put too much on. You don't want it to be too thick because it can, when you cure it, it can go all bubbly and some parts of it can't cure properly. So yeah, again, nice thin layers. Build it up if you need to. I just use two coats, but you know, you can build it up and use three if you want.
and then once you've done all of the nails you just need to cure that again in the LED lamp for it says 30 seconds I like to do it for 60 just to make sure so exactly the same process as the first coat and then obviously curing it again for another 30 to 60 seconds again And then lastly, I'm gonna go in with my base coat. So this is a soak off base coat. This is one that leaves a tacky layer afterwards. So you have to remove that top tacky layer. So don't take it out of the lamp and think, oh no, it's not dry. That is perfectly normal. It should be like that. So again, just applying this in nice thin strokes. Again, not too thick, but obviously making sure that you cover all of the, the polish that you've put on beforehand and capping that free edge as well. And then once you've done that, cure it for another 60 seconds. So this is me taking off that top tacky layer. So you can use, there are removers that you can use for it. I just use an acetone nail polish, to be honest. I think I find it works just as well and it's a lot cheaper, but use whatever you want to. So as you can see, they're nice and smooth afterwards and shiny. So I'm just gonna take some cream just to pop on my feet. This is the Coco and Eve Moisture Whip Body Cream, but obviously use whatever you like to use. I'm just gonna massage that all over my feet. Do excuse my dodgy fake tan on my feet. <laughs> it's nearly time to come off. And then once again using that elixir cuticle oil just again on the base of my cuticles and giving it a good massage in just to make them nice and nourished and yeah not not too dry really So here is the finished result. I think it's really, really pretty. It actually looks a bit more silver on camera, but it is quite pink in person. So yeah, it is supposed to be pink, but yeah, look at that hollow. It's just really, really beautiful the way it reflects with the light. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, there we go, all pretty. I, I like to have, you know, sort of polished toes, especially this time of year when you've got them out, you know, with sandals on and everything. Really nice, lovely, lovely polish though. For two coats, it actually covered really, really well and it sparkles beautifully in the sunshine and you get that really nice holographic sort of colour shift through it as well. Absolutely beautiful, really, really nice. So I do have a discount code for Madame Glam, which I will link below for you. I think it's about 30%, so it's quite a good discount, but I'll pop that in the description box below, along with any links to any products used in today's video as well. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and I'd really appreciate it. It'd mean the absolute world to me if you did enjoy watching this video, and you would like to see more content from me in the future, and you would like to subscribe to my channel. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye! It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby